Understanding functions like sleep, appetite or movement can be studied thanks to optogenetics. They were in charge of developing it some years ago, and now Edward Boyden, Carl Disseroth and Jerome Miesenbach have been awarded the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the biomedicine category because their method allows us to study brain function with unprecedented resolution. Optogenetics is a form of wireless communication with nerve cells in the brain, just like a radio broadcast is a form of wireless communication with different households uh, in a city. The role of the radio waves uh, in optogenetics is played by optical signals, by light. And the role of the radio receiver by photoreceptor proteins, light-sensitive proteins. Missenbach was the first to show that it's possible to control the activity of neurons with light, but first, light-sensitive proteins must be inserted into them, and this is where gene therapy techniques are used. In the Missenbach experiment, the neurons were activated, but only in a modest way. The problem was solved by Disseroth and Boyden by using other types of proteins from algae. Back in the summer of 2004, we got lucky. Carl put one of the genes that we'd asked for into some cells, neurons, in a dish. I shine light on the neurons, and serendipitously, the neurons could fire electrical pulses with the same temporal precision as the brain itself. Since then, optogenetics has undergone successive refinements with proteins that respond at different speeds or to different types of lights, a technique whose potential was not well understood at the beginning but is used today by neuroscientists around the world because it allows precise brain control. A better understanding of the neural circuits will allow the development of more specific drugs for some diseases, and perhaps, though the direct use of optogenetics in humans is still far off, it would help find a solution to Parkinson or even blindness. <laughs>